Hey guys, I'm Gideon Barnett and we're here for Ginger Outdoor SA. We've just done obstacle one, two, three, and four. We're here at DeVilt. We've just arrived at number five, and once again, the first time I came here, I did not know what to expect. These are some serious axle twisters, according to me, and I don't know if the car will do it. There's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can put the Mahindra Tar through the test and go through this obstacle here. We've arrived at number six. Now, number six is not that challenging, but it can be a little bit technical. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a bit of an incline here on the slant to the right. But then as soon as you get over it, it's got a bit of an axle twister. So if you're not careful with your acceleration, you could, could just belly out and get a little bit stuck there. But all in all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's do it. Okay guys, we've come to the infamous G-string drive. For those of you who don't know, G-string turn. So guys, this slants a little bit more to the right. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're at number seven. And this is Kert's clip. It's Kert's rock, basically. So this has been dubbed because this is quite a challenging obstacle. Now, I have to admit, this is the third time that I've been here and I've never actually gone up that rock. The first time I came here, the car was brand new and I refused to do anything that could might even damage it. I didn't have enough confidence in myself to do it, so I refused. And my wife said no. The second time I came, I looked and I said, you know what, it doesn't look too bad. But once again, my wife said no. And to be honest with you, I really like sleeping in the same bed as her and not on the couch. So I listened. But this time, there's a difference. She's not here. Which means, I'm going to attempt this character clip. I have no idea how it's going to go. I've got faith in my vehicle. How much faith I've got in myself, I'm not exactly too sure. But let's take it. Let's see what happens, and either this is going to go very, very well, and I'm going to come down, or this is going to be a YouTube hit, and millions of people are going to watch it because I'm going to come tumbling down. Let's see what happens.
when you get to number eight, there's actually not much to do here. There's not a big challenge. However, you can see there's a little bit of water around me. There's a salt lake close by. You often have animals walking around here if you sit for long enough. The next thing is, it makes for a great photo opportunity. So, this to me is one of the nicest photos that I can get. Car parked up in a hill, a bit of a reflection in the water. I just think it's absolutely stunning. The next thing we like to do here is go to the bathroom. There's a toilet just around the corner. It's actually quite nice. It's got a real a ceramic base and everything. And lovely to come here, sit for a bit, have your coffee, have some lunch, and then just enjoy your time and head off to number nine. See you now. We're at number nine. Now, I have to admit, we've come in the winter season in South Africa, in Johannesburg, and it's our dry seasons. Now, normally, number nine has got some water in it. And not too much, so it's easy to get through, but still a little bit of water, still a little bit of a challenge. It makes it a little bit more exciting, but we're still here. We're still gonna go through it. Why the heck not? Let's do it. Okay guys, we've made it to number 10, which means we've made it to the end of this video. If you want to see more, check us out next time. See you then. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe.